Hello, this is Tiffany from Tiffany's Beauty Trends, and today I'm going to try out the newish Morphe foundation and concealer. Now, I know this has been out for a while, but I just got my hands on it recently, and I'm going to be using for the foundation F1.50, and it seemed to be a pretty good match when I put it on the back of my hand. So we'll just put a medium size ball, see if that covers. I don't know what the coverage is at all yet. I know I do weird patterns. It's not about pretty, it's about getting it done, is how I look at it. And it does seem like it's pretty decent just from the first opinion. Okay, I'm trying to do this fast. What I should do is just speed it up. So I'm gonna be really quiet. Okay, I find the coverage to be pretty, probably medium to full coverage. Where I put it on heavily, it looks like full coverage. Where I put it on a little lighter, it kind of looks more like medium coverage. So I guess it just depends on the amount you apply on what kind of result you're gonna get. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to use the cover up, which is so small I can't read it. It's actually probably like um, 1.25 or something very similar to that. Okay, so let's see how this does.
Okay, so I think this is actually a pretty heavy coverage, like full coverage, especially when you um, apply it with that much um, concentration. So what I'm gonna do next is get the rest of my face on, my eyebrows, and come back. I just wanted to show you these babies. They're $8, $7.99, and there's a blue, there is what appears to be a cream. There is a brown. There is a peachy orange color. There is a brilliant purple. And finally, there is a magenta. So as I'm going to the doctor's office, I probably want to go with a peachy and brown color. So what I'm gonna do is get these open and then show you how I believe you should apply them. Okay, so I have the brown color open and they just have a twist knob and they do have a little plus or piece of sticker so none of it oozes. And I'm gonna apply this with my finger I'm not sure how thick it is. Okay, so I'm going to try. To apply this. here and there and then I'm going to try the other eye and it doesn't take much so when you are trying to apply this keep that in mind Okay, this side I'm having more trouble with. Um, let me try using this finger. Okay. And I'm going to see if there's anything you can do after it's been applied, like if it will move or if it's just pretty much stuck where you put it. And it looks pretty much like when you've got it on there, it's definitely on. So now I'm going to take a towel and wipe off my fingertips and I think I should use both sides from you know both hands because using the other color okay now I'm going in with this peachy tone and I'm gonna get its top off and I'll see if I can do a little cleanup with this now, I'm not sure, you might be able to use a concealer brush for this and have it turn out a lot nicer. Okay. I'm seeing if it'll actually cover the other up, and it doesn't appear to do that. So I just put a little on the edges, and now I'll try this side. And this side really needed some cleaning up right here.
Okay. So, they look fairly even, not great. I just have a damp towel that I keep with me and I use it on brushes, I use it on my fingers, I use it on anything that I'm trying to work with. So this is the pearl color that I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. Oh goodness, it looks very pretty. Okay, I'm having trouble not spreading it further. I kind of wanted to take it and bring it up here as well without making too big of a mess. And actually, I've taken it down to a finger size. So let me go ahead and try the other side. Okay, that side looks really pretty. Now I'm going to take a tiny amount and bring it, oh wow, what I called tiny was not tiny. Okay, a large amount and apply it to the top and I wanted it to go in between here. like right under there and in between. So, actually, if I took a little bit more of this pearl and put it maybe right over here, it might make it look a little more even. Well, I'm not sure if that's really how it's turning out. My eyes are getting a little bit foggy. Okay, so let me wipe this off. So this is our eye look today. Um, definitely think I would try a concealer brush next time and see if I can get more control. I just thought that this looked like one of those things where you should just put your finger in it. And um, while it does work, it's very sketchy as far as you can you can tell the ideas I had and how it actually went down were very, very different. So <laughs> anyway, um, let me see. I need to put on some um, of the rest of my makeup and we'll just kind of go forward with the review of both products or both sets of products. Okay, I finished my look and I finished off with Becca's. Um, anyway, this is my look for today. Now I'm hoping I can get away with this hair. It's a little bit harem scarum, but hopefully this will work. I don't like going into the office and looking scary. So anyway, I love you all. Thank you for all of my new viewers. I so appreciate you subscribing and joining my team as i'll call it but um you can help me decide which way to go 